and welcome to Cosmos and Spread. My name is Michelle Rogers, and I'm so grateful that you're here with me today for this daily reading. This is the new series, uh, Daily Guided Spirit Messages for the Collective. Um, this is for October 23rd, 2022. Okay, let's go ahead and begin. I will start the reading with scrying, and I will top it off with this uh, beautiful deck. I do have the link in the the description below for you. I do not get compensated in any form uh, for you clicking on that link. Now, just so you're aware, I have done a flip through on this channel of every single card and a review. So if you're interested or feel drawn to buying these cards, um, you can most certainly, uh, if you want to see what all the cards look like and my review, just flip back on my channel. Not sure how far back it is, but it is a, a way back. Um, and check that out uh, these are such a beautiful day okay let's go ahead holy spirit holy divine all who are with me in the highest divine realms of love and truth i ask that you please show me tell me or both what does the collective need to know for the daily reading of october 23rd 2022 please thank you spirit okay here thank you Okay, bigger, please. Okay, so I'm seeing a feminine energy coming in. Okay. Hmm. Wow, serious, serious. Okay, there. Uh, what I'm seeing here is there's a feminine energy standing in front. Now, this is not gender specific. So, this could be a male as well, feminine energy. This feminine energy is, is like in, in front of several people here. This could be a supervisor. This could be a business owner. This could be head of household, parent, someone that may be an authority figure somehow, a leader of something. This person looks uh, to be very intelligent. but has a little bit of a shrewd look on the face. Uh, this person could be very uh, kind of like a stickler to sticking to the rules or making sure that things are done in the correct manner. But th there's people behind this feminine energy that are basically looking at this feminine energy as if there, no one's smiling. And, uh, it's, it's almost like um, it's almost like this feminine energy is respected in one sense, but in another is uh, appearing. People are perceiving this person as a little more shrewd uh, with their tone. Okay, not feeling, you know, it's, it's like, I feel like this. Okay, like if you're at a job and you have this supervisor that is just really, really harsh, okay, um, you know this person knows their stuff. You know this person, you know, does everything by the book. But at the same time, it's like it creates an atmosphere of where people don't want to work as a team. Okay. Um, this person just kind of uh, says, this is what I expect to be done and you're going to do it or you have to do it correctly. You know, that kind of tone. And it's almost like it, it, mm, it decreases to like to a lower level energy of that area. This could be your household. This could be someone you know, uh, uh, like I said, a parent, this could be uh, uh, a partner, this could be a close loved one, a friend. But there's someone that you are encountering here that is just, it's kind of like they just, it's almost like they suck out the energy, like an energy vampire of happiness when you're around this person. Okay, Spirit, please show me more for this daily collective. 
for October 23rd, 2022. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, I see you're finding your happiness. That's good. Yes, there's lots of people smiling. Okay, okay, so I'm seeing this feminine energy. Now, the feminine energy changed and it's looking a little differently. So for some of you, that can mean like bosses may be changing. There could be a job change, um, you know, that you're, you're, you said, you know what, um, this place is no longer good for me. I don't like the energy there. I'm moving on to something better, uh, that's better for you. Um, it could also mean that, uh, you know, a certain job, uh, you know, they're that person, maybe they just weren't happy there. They left there and someone new's coming in that you're going to resonate with a little better. Um, if this is more personal, um, this could be that there may be a person leaving out of your life, or at least, you know, you may need to set boundaries, uh, what you will accept and what you won't, uh, from this person. But I feel like for some of you, this is actually someone leaving your life. Um, and you're finding your happiness. There's so many people just smiling now. It's like, it's like, woo, it's this feeling of woohoo. This person, this person's not here anymore in my life. And now I can really, you know, I'm not going to have to worry about, you know, this person draining my energy anymore. This person, you know, being negative all the time. Now, you know, I can, I can work as a team. I can feel pumped and alive. You know, I can, I can feel all these happy emotions now. That's very beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and go to some guidance cards for the day lovely collective also i'd like to take the time to say thank you so much for your subscriptions your shares your comments your likes your donations any part that you play in that even just watching this video it really helps to increase this uh, video and my channel into the youtube algorithm to be seen by that algorithm so that that does help distribute my channel more out around the world so that i can use my gifts for free to help others and that you know that's such a beautiful gift in itself so i i definitely cherish each and every one of you i just got chills because it's like you know this is my heart's desire and i know it's part of my purpose so i really do cherish you Okay, what would you like to tell Lovely Collective Today's Spirit for October 23rd, 2022? Okay, thank you. Okay, this one. Yes, okay. More from this deck. Yes. Okay. Whoa, <laughs> I don't know if that caught it on camera. Oh, beautiful. Okay, this one, Spirit. Oh, yes. More from this deck. have this one yes okay more from this deck spirit nope okay so it looks like we have three we'll start with the first one surrender to divine timing sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing if a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego be patient and trust the universal flow oh i definitely love that and if you also okay you can see this is this is a clock here okay now again that's going with divine timing okay and it just remember that anytime when you are manifesting something or creating something you know things do take time you know in this this realm we have time so you know it it, it does take a little time for things to come to fruition and it also is according to you know how we trust how we manifest how we learn each step and baby steps um you know just like myself i i have uh been learning and taking action towards manifesting uh with the law of attraction and the law of cause and effect since 2015. 
So I had to start out small in baby steps as I was learning and I'm still learning. Okay. And it's 2020, almost 2023. I'm still learning. But the thing is that each time I manifested something small, um, then it, my trust was building and then it got bigger and bigger and bigger. So since 2015, I have dramatically increased because I trust and I have faith and I understand that and believe that this is real. Okay. So since I do these things, when I'm manifesting something and knowing and understanding, it has to happen in divine timing as well that these things do come to pass and they're getting bigger and bigger and bigger than manifestations. So it's, it's, it's a really such a beautiful thing to realize and actually experience being a creator. It's really neat. The next thing is surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. Yes, that is so important. And something I want to make sure you're aware of, the sunflowers, I absolutely love them because no matter which direction the sunflower is growing, when the sun rises and as the sun is out during the day, the sunflower automatically turns towards the sun. So what that tells me in symbology is no matter what you're going through, always look for that miracle. There's a miracle in everything, everything. But it's up to us to find it. You know, we can stay in victim mentality. We can stay in woe is me mindset. Okay. Or we can say, you know what? Okay. I know this tower moment just happened. I know this situation did not work out for me. And you know what? I'm going to find the positive in this and I'm going to use that moving forward. Okay. It's totally up to us how we, how we uh, perceive and how we react to things. However, always keep in mind, it's like a boomerang effect. Whatever you're feeling is what you release out into the universe. And the universe throws that same frequency right back to us. Okay. So, um, you know, if you want to manifest more, let's just say more happiness into your life, well, you have to understand to find that happiness. Okay. First, you have to be that first. You have to feel that first and exuberate that out with your feelings and then allow that boomerang to come back with more of that happy same frequency into your life okay very beautiful then we have surrender to silence in quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within you silence can heal and replenish you very beautiful okay so that's what i have for you today my friend much much love to you and i send my every one of you so much love and success and happiness your way okay i hope to see you soon bye bye <laughs>